How's it going troops, Jordan here, back again with another Black Ops Cold War loadout video. In today's loadout, we're going to be heading back in time to the 1920s as we join the Italian-American Mafia in Cold War multiplayer. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe, and let's jump right in. With this 1920s Mafia loadout, we're going to be playing as a Mafia associate from the late 1920s, where our main jobs are to collect debts, traffic drugs, and of course kill those who dare cross the boss. Because we're going to be roleplaying as a member of the Mafia with this setup, our playstyle for this loadout is going to be roleplay. And as we're going to be using old school weaponry with this class setup, and not taking our in-game performance into consideration, I've labelled today's loadout difficulty as moderate. Starting off with our primary weapon, we're going to choose the Milano 821. The classic weapon of choice seen in movies in the hands of the Mafia is of course the Thompson, or Tommy Gun as it's more commonly known as. The Tommy Gun saw its use throughout World War II, but its popularity didn't come into wider fruition until it was in the hands of the Mafia. Sadly though, the Thompson isn't in Cold War multiplayer, so we're going to try our best to recreate this weapon using what attachments are available. And so for our base weapon, we're going to select the Milano 821. Not only does the body and iron sights have that Thompson look, the Milano, as you can tell, is also an Italian weapon, which fits in perfectly with this loadout's theme. Taking a look now at our attachments for the Milano, for our first attachment, we're going to choose the 10.5 inch Ranger Barrel. This steel barrel not only furthers our bullet velocity by 100%, but extends the weapon's length to be more like the Thompson. Our next attachment is going to be the Patrol Grip. The Mafia patrolled the streets of cities like New York and Chicago, and they did this to protect their territory and spy on other rival gangs in the neighbourhood. Plus, Tommy guns wielded by Mafia members in movies and games are typically seen with a foregrip underneath the weapon, so we'll go with the patrol grip for these reasons. For our third attachment, we're going to go with the Stanag 55 round drum. Tommy guns can have either standard or drum magazines inserted into them, and in many of them old Mafia films, we see associates use the Thompson with the drum mag, because more firepower is better. The Stanag drum provides us with 55 bullets to spray down our foes with, and when it comes to facing the enemy, we want to show them who's really the boss. And for our fourth and final attachment, we're going to select the tactical stock. The base Milano comes without a stock attached, and as we're building a Thompson light look with this weapon, we're going to equip the tactical stock, which allocates a fixed wooden stock on the rear of the gun. So now that we've discussed our primary weapon configuration, it's time to move on to our secondary weapon of choice for this loadout. For our secondary weapon, we're going to choose the baseball bat. Baseball bats were carried around by the Mafia, and were used to give an old school beatdown on those who angered the boss for many reasons. Whether it be owing money, not getting the job done properly, or simply because the boss felt like it. This wooden club will strike down your opponents with one foul hit, so that's why we'll equip the baseball bat as our secondary weapon. So now that we've discussed our primary and secondary weapon configurations, it's time to move on to our perk setup. Once again taking advantage of the Lawbreaker wildcard, for our first perk, we're going to choose Assassin from Tier 2. The Mafia are known to have assassinated various people throughout their existence, and even get away with their murderous acts, so we'll go with the Assassin perk to reference this. And for our last two perks, we're going to go with both Gung Ho and Ghost from Tier 3. The Mafia are forever weapon ready, and we see in movies members of the Mafia fire their weapons from the hip wherever they run, so we'll go with Gung Ho to mimic this. As for Ghost, the Mafia are constantly on the move, whether it be hiding from law enforcement or a simple shoot and run. Back then, there was no CCTV cameras or social media, which made committing crimes and escaping the law quite easy for organisations as clever as the Mafia. The fact the Mafia are still around today after all the crimes they've committed, past and present, speaks volumes as how evasive this organisation are, and so we'll use the ghost perk to reference this, as it allows us to remain hidden from enemy spy planes whilst on the run. Moving on now to our equipment and field upgrade, for our lethal equipment, we're going to choose the Molotov. Molotov cocktails were the Mafia's primary lethal projectile of choice, as it was easy to obtain beer bottles and matches. Arson was one of the big crimes the Mafia were notorious for, and they threw these Molotovs into shops and apartment buildings as a warning to folk who stepped over the line, so we'll equip the Molotov in our lethal slot. As for our tactical equipment, we're going to go with the flashbang. Flashbangs hadn't been invented during this time, let alone used by the Mafia, but the Mafia did however arm themselves with multiple types of grenades and explosives, and since the flashbang has that fuse on the outside of the grenade, we'll equip the flashbang for aesthetic reasons. And lastly, for our field upgrade, we're choosing the Assault Pack. 
In media and archive footage, you always see Mafia gang members travel around with their fake briefcases, and these briefcases usually contain weapons, grenades, drugs or money. The assault pack is loaded with ammunition, which allows us and our teammates to resupply our weapons, so that's why we'll equip ourselves with the assault pack. So now that we've talked about our equipment and field upgrade, it's time to finish off this loadout with our score streak selection. For our first score streak, we're going to choose armour. During the 1920s and 30s, many gunmen from criminal gangs like the Mafia began wearing thick vests made out of cotton padding and cloth, as it was cheaper to get a hold of. Despite these vests being weaker than ballistic armour plating, they could absorb the impact of various handgun calibres, such as the 22 Long Rifle Round and the 32 Smith & Wesson. So to reference this, we'll select body armour as our first score streak. And for our second and final score streak, we're going to go with the harp. This might seem like an odd choice for me to make, but as always, I have a good reason for this. The Mafia used informants as a way of learning new information that can help their organisation make more money, gain new connections and grow their reputation. By using the harp score streak in game, this recon aircraft will inform us of hostilities in the area, letting us prepare for any shootouts that may occur and staying one step ahead of other rival gangs. So troops, that wraps up my 1920s Mafia loadout video for Black Ops Cold War. Next time you boot up Cold War multiplayer, definitely give this class setup a try in game, because that's how Mafia works. If you did enjoy this loadout video, then give the video a thumbs up, I would appreciate it a lot, and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button as well, for more videos like this one. If you have any friends who might be interested in this source of content, then share the video around with them, to help give my loadout videos and my channel more widespread exposure. And if you want to see behind the scenes previews of my loadout videos, you can follow me on Twitter at JordanXBrooks for all the latest on there. So until the next video, I thank you all for watching, stay true to me troops, and I'll see you in-game. Strike!